Hey guys and welcome to a new video! So, today is day 3 of the Synthesis League, so I want to go over through the updates, the progress from yesterday, our plans, did we get them or not, and what do we change in the character, what's the plan for today, and so on. So, yeah, it was actually a pretty, a little bit weird stream yesterday, because I was like super tired the whole day, I don't know why, uh, but yesterday I streamed like 8 hours, I think, then I went to bed and I slept for freaking 11 hours straight, so my body really needed some sleep for some reason. And yeah, uh, I just woke up like 20 minutes ago, I just stepped out from shower, I was like, yeah, let's record this video quick because I'm super hyped for today uh, for streaming and getting this character going. So, the plan from yesterday was to get into mapping, finish the acts, uh, get three laps done and also farm a tabula rasa. Um, I did not kind of fulfill that. I'm currently level 77. I made my first map, so this is all fine. I did all the quests, all the side quests, and I also did all four laps, all on the first try. That was kind of amazing that I got Uber Lab on the first try, uh, because I'm CI at the moment. I will go over that uh, in a bit. But I did not farm a tabula, and that has a specific reason. I had some, some people on my stream yesterday that are actively farming tabulas and they said you need about five six seven hours one guy was actually farming nine hours for a tabula rasa and if we check tabula rasa i think they go for like 25k or so something and this farmed up in like seven hours i think um that's just not profitable at all because um yeah having a six link is great uh, but taking those seven hours, finishing Act 9, Act 10, start mapping, go Delve, go Bestiary, uh, farm up the Nexus, whatever you do, um, you're probably going to find something um, that is worth the same as just farming straight Tabula Rasa, right? And that's why I made the decision to not farm it. And yeah, therefore, um, I made my Ubalop already, which is pretty insane, especially when you're going CI. And yeah, so uh, where do we start actually? I think we're gonna start with the currency building up type before we go into the changes that I made for the character itself and before we go with the uh, plans for today. So um, I had two valuable drops. I call them valuable drops because they were sold for a little bit. So I found one Chief's Torment Ring that sold for 17 chaos. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, and I found a Vis Mortis chest that sold for 8 chaos. Plus the chaos I had on my stash, I was roughly at, at about 30 chaos. So yesterday I was live version. I changed uh, that on the skill tree a little bit. I had all those live notes um, on the left side uh, and somewhere else, like here, uh, blood siphon and so on. So typically live based and I wanted to go down here to the Scion life cluster, what I actually did. Um, but the thing was, when I had 30 chaos on my stash, I was thinking about, wait a second. If I'm going life based now, I need at least maybe 20, 30 orb of regrets and to respect to CI or at least energy shield. And if we check an orb of regret is I think like one to one. That means I need about 20 to 30 chaos orbs just for respecting my character. So I had 30 chaos orbs on my stash and I was like, wait a second. What if we just go CI right now? <clears throat> oh, sorry. Holy shit. That's better. So, um, it was probably not the best decision that I made to go CI that early because you need a lot of energy shield, right? Um, but in the end, I save up currency, so I probably die once or twice a map more than I would on the live based version. But in the end, I can save a lot of currency and now I can stick to the energy shield gear, which is uh, pretty fine. So, what I did was I was just going over to the PoE trade. Um, I was searching here for Chaos Orb on the, on the bottom side here, buyout price, one Chaos Orb max. Then I go for, let's say, um, a Val Regalia because it offers a lot of energy shield. And then we're going to click here on energy shield to sort them up. So here you see I got an, a 394 energy shield armor for one Chaos. So what I did was actually going over my gear and bought all kinds of stuff with energy shield and resistances uh, for approximately one Chaos each piece. If there was only a bad piece available, then I was just setting up the price to like max three chaos and sort it again and see what kind of deals I can get. 
So uh, this one, for example, energy shield resistance. My Both of my rings are moonstone rings for the energy shield. Both have resistances, which is pretty nice. I'm currently, I think, not even capped yet, which is a little bit of a problem. But I have a flask here somewhere, I think, where I get some resistances. I had that yesterday. Okay, never mind. So, not res capped at all, which is pretty bad. But yeah, I think currency is short. You know, everybody knows that. But I'm fine for now, let's say. I'm trying to fix that because with one chaos, you get like 40, 50 resistances in total for a ring. And later on, you can get like 150 resistance on all rings or at least like 100. 20 or so, like triple 40 resistance or something. So it will be way easier if you have the currency to balance your resistance. So the next decision I made is buying a baited breath because it offers a lot of energy shield, um, energy shield recharge rate, and they go for like a chaos, I think. So yeah, they go for one chaos. It's a super solid belt for energy shield uh, builds. Uh, then I had um, the Cane of Unraveling. That's a staff I bought for four chaos yesterday. They are two chaos now, okay, bad. Anyway, so I bought just for four chaos. Uh, I tried to six socket it. So the first 15 of the 30 chaos orbs went into jeweler orbs trying to six socket this. It did not happen. I was super mad. And then I was like, never mind, let's play on a four link. The staff itself offers two socketed chaos gems. We have non ailment chaos damage over time multiplier. We have increased chaos damage. We have power charge, cast speed, mana rack, and so on. So. It's a very, very solid and cheap staff for uh, Chaos builds. So yeah, here we spend like 17, no, wait a second, like 20 Chaos in total, uh, which was completely wasted since I didn't even got it six socket, which is pretty bad, but yeah. And the rest is like one Chaos, one Chaos. This one I found actually, that's a five link. Um, then we have Vixens and Trapman. These are the new gloves uh, for curses, but this is something I want to go over a little bit later, but they go for, I think, three Chaos. 4 chaos, 5 chaos. So I bought that yesterday. But this has a specific reason. It has, you can apply an additional curse. Um, therefore, with explaining the skills, I want to go over a little bit later. But then we have, uh, yeah, boots with energy shield, resistance, all the typical stuff, basically. Uh, flask, this is completely useless since we are CI. I still have it in for remove bleeding. I don't know what kind of flask I want to do or take later on. Uh, mana flask, not really necessary. Like flasks are completely forget about it, right? It's just important that you have like a bleed immunity flask and the freeze Im uh, immunity flask that works out for me. So I don't really have to change. We are a tier three maps, four maps. We are not like guardians and shaper and stuff where we really have to um, get your flask right and so on. So I think that's it for the gear itself. What uh, decisions I made. So what about the skills now? So um, I felt, or at least I feel that Bane is just superior in both like the playstyle and damaging and all that stuff it's map speed it's it's actually a pretty fine thing to have so i have this one in my chest at the moment with uh, bane as our um, yeah damage ability it has very short duration but the more curses we apply the more damage we get and the longer the debuff lasts right so what i did was just taking a couple of um curses even though I don't really need them, just to buff my um, Bane. I know some people will say now, wait a second, if you have just Bane and put in like five support gems, isn't that better? Um, probably not, because the higher the Bane is, the more percentage, more damage per curse applied uh, on the target, right? So the Bane does a lot of damage for each curse we have. So currently I'm running those um, curses here. Despair is mandatory. The rest is just like, this is a corrupted chest, I cannot even um, uncolor it. So, or at least like with a very high budget, I could do it. But in the end, I had two sockets, so it was Bane and Despair. And the other three, I was just filling up with anything like Temp Chains. Then we have Poacher's Mark uh, and Projectile Weakness. For what Projectile Weakness? Nobody knows. It's just a curse. It will make my Bane stronger and this is what it counts, right? So I, I would actually uh, take some other stuff if we go over here, um, like Assassin's Mark to get my power charges. Uh, we have life and mana gained on kill, which is actually pretty cool. Um, with the Cane of the Unraveling, we also get um, mana re uh, regen and cast speed per uh, power charge. And also Cane of the Unraveling will deliver us power charges if we use uh, Essence Drain. So if I just keep on spamming Essence Drain, we get power charges, right? 
Um, but since I'm rarely using SS Drain at the moment, uh, SS Mark is pretty fine to go. But yeah, as I said before, this is a corrupted chest. We have three greens, so we're just gonna pump in here uh, curses. And every single curse will make our Bane 50% stronger and it will last longer. Sadly, it doesn't count in into the um, tooltip. So no matter what I do here, um, what it's like if I add a curse or not, this the damage is the same, but we still can calculate. If we say like, okay, we have um, four curses, and every every curse gives us 45% uh, more damage. That's 180% more damage. And we have increased buff duration. That means I have four curses at the moment. Is 200% longer uh, duration. So that's about, I don't know, like 15 seconds uh, duration on the Bane itself. So how does this play like? I would say we're gonna go over here, go Blood Aqueducts and take a look how compared the speed of the map clearing is, right? So, it's pre pretty straightforward. The circle is pretty big. I, I'm not ha I have some notes here with increased area of effect, but I'm not running increased area of effect or intensify or anything like that. So this is the, the actual circle, like it's super big. So what you do is just running forward, like one button press, then enemies are cursed, uh, they explode with our ascendancy. And actually playing like that is actually super satisfying. It's a lot of fun. Uh, mapping is very smooth. The damage is super okay. Um, just for that part. So people will say now, wait a second, if you have uh, soul rent, that's a way better clear. Uh, in one hand, yes, that's true. Uh, in the other hand, it feels super slow, right? So if we're just gonna take... Um, I use my, my Bane in the chest and not in the staff, although I would get Chaos Gems, but this is a 4-link, this is a 5-link, I have 4 curses, so that's better. So uh, just for a quick reminder, how do I get... You need... How do I explain that? Um, you need to unlock the curses that you can apply on your character, right? So one you have in total, you can curse one enemy, or at least you can curse enemies with one curse. So then if we go over here to the Whispers of Doom, we can apply additional curse. So we can have two curses. Then with my Ascendancy uh, over here, the, the Malediction, you can apply an additional curse. Makes it three curses. And then we have the new gloves that give us another curse. So we have four curses here. That's why it makes it possible to run Bane with four curses at the moment. So what else do those gloves offer? Uh, spell damage leached as energy shield for each curse on the enemy. So if we would run Bane with a six link and five curses, it's another one percent of our spell damage is getting is going to be leached as energy shield. Same as Soul Rend. Soul Rend gives us four percent spell damage leached as energy shield. So in total, five percent energy shield leached. So I'm thinking about going um, the new Ghost Reaver, which is basically Vile Pact for energy shield. So it's going to be a really sick energy shield leech. So let's keep on going with this one. So we have Soul Rent probably with a greater, like, like Soul Rent is typical self-explaining, right? Uh, where is Soul Rent? Um, then we take greater multiples, so we actually shoot uh, five projectiles. Uh, then we have something very interesting. This is something I don't wear with me at the moment. That's stupid. Let's let me pick that up real quick for a showcase. Because the GMP is not the only thing that we want to have once going for mapping. There is a new support gem that's called Unleash. Uh, Unleash support. And then we could go for... What else? Yeah, let's let's throw in DK support. It doesn't really matter. It's just for a showcase, right? So we can, we can just run it like that. So, as I said, you have one soul rent as normal. Then with GMP you have five. And now look what happens when we get Unleash in. You see that our uh, Soul Rent has now three stacks. That means if you take a look how it looks like right now, if I shoot this one, we have a freaking shitload of Soul Rents. And this is because our Soul Rent, if we take out GMP, it's easier to see. Normally, it's freaking one projectile, right? Then we add the Unleash and every 0 0.7 seconds we get one stack. And on three stacks, uh, we get three additional projectiles. So you see that the one soul rent is going to split up in multiple ones. And with the GMP, we now have this time, uh, this one five times. So we shoot five soul rents, and each of the soul rents is going to spread again. So that makes it look really, really sick if you see how many uh, projectiles we have here. So, how does the playstyle look like if we do it like that? So we're just gonna run forward, press our soul rent. And you see, it almost clears two screens over here. 
uh, which is actually pretty fine. The only thing I don't really like on this one, it casts way too long. So we have a cast time of 0.7 seconds at the moment with this one power charge that will wear off, so 0.7 seconds. So if I just move and press, you see how long my character is standing still. And this is something I don't enjoy at all, because uh, I want to have a smooth build if we compare this one to Bane, if we're just gonna stack it in here. So if you run, use Bane, you know, it's it's way faster than, than the Soul Rend. And that's why I think, just from my personal uh, playstyle, I think that the um, the Bane just is way smoother to play than this one. So I still want to have Soul Rend in, so how can I fix that one? And I found, I think, a pretty sweet solution. Remember when I said yesterday um, that we actually need a filler spell, right? So if we're gonna write this down real quick... Um, Get it over here. So we have our Essence Drain, let's say AD, that lasts for like, let's say eight seconds. Then we have Bane that lasts for like six seconds, right? Or 10 seconds even. So what are you gonna do between them? I explained that yesterday. So we need one filler spell. And this is the one that I said Soul Rent it's going to be. Because Soul Rent has only 0.4 seconds base duration. That means, uh, when I cast it twice, probably the first one will wear off before the second one hits, right? So I can permanently spam it and get a lot of damage. But we still have the option to use um, Blight as our filler spell. Blight is the same thing over here, Light, right? Uh, we're just gonna use Blight and you're gonna stack up 20 layers of damage and it's going to be a lot of damage. Uh, the mobs are hindered and yeah, they're gonna take a lot of more chaos damage just because of our um, spreading rod jewels. The spreading rod jewels got a little bit nerfed. Usually it was um, once an enemy is hindered by Blight, it will take more chaos damage from all sources, right? Uh, what it is right now, um, it says that uh, Blight inflicts Withered for two seconds. Withered is a debuff that is also the same kind of thing. If you go here, Withered, PoE. Let's check this real quick. Uh, so, Withered is a debuff which applies 6% increased chaos damage taking. Stacks up 15 times. So that's a total of 90% chaos damage, if I'm correct, holy shit. It's early in the morning, 6 multiplied by 15, 90, hey, I I'm good. So 90% chaos damage increase taking from all sources, from Bane, from Essence Drain, from all that kind of stuff. Uh, and we can use this jewel twice, so it, it, uh, it will stack up twice as fast. So this could be another, another filler spell, so that we go like uh, Essence Drain, Bane, uh, and then use uh, Blight as our filler spell while the other two are ticking. So this would be another option, but I want to have Soul Rent as well, so how am I going to do this? And I think I solved this one with cast while channeling. So we use Blight, cast while channeling, GMP, and Soul Rend. For Soul Rend, not because it does a lot of damage, but uh, especially for the spell damage leeched. So it looks like that. Once I start uh, channeling my Blight, I will permanently, like every 0.39 seconds, I will shoot a Soul Rend. So usually this would be for, um, this would actually be faster uh, than just uh, manually shooting it, I guess. Um, but the thing is, we have Blight that stacks, uh, that is damage itself. Then we, um, we have Withered debuff, right? Um, so we don't uh, need to skill that over here, Withering Presence, or get a totem with Withered or something. So that will do Blight. And on top of that, our third option, we're gonna shoot Soul Rends and we're gonna leech a lot of energy shield. Meanwhile, our damage abilities are ticking that will do a lot of damage, right? So I think uh, over here that should actually work if I just use Blight like this. Could actually be faster than the actual version. <laughs> but it's just like not a lot of uh, damaging spells over here, so... It's just for getting debuffs and getting Leech as a filler spell, because our main abilities will be Essence, Drain and Bane, obviously. But yeah, this is this is the thing right now. I, I just feel like that Bane... Ha feels way smoother while mapping uh, than Soul Rend does because it's so slow. Then I saw people say like, yeah, you need slower projectiles for Soul Rend. I already feel that, that, um, that Soul Rend is flying way, way too slow to clear, so I don't really like that idea too. Even maybe it's more damage. We could actually use that in our uh, Caspa channeling uh, support because I think 
Uh, on that case, I will not take GMP. It's enough if we shoot one soul rent because it's a single target thing, right? Because all the other stuff, you're just gonna one shot with Bane or Essence Drain. So this is just single target oriented. So we don't really need GMP. So we can add slower projectiles on this one if it does more damage, right? Or energy shield, leech support, something like that, any mechanic like that. So yeah, this is the current state of the art. <clears throat> I still think that Essence Drain is the superior single target. I think that Bane is going to be my map clearing ability. Maybe we're gonna stack up with uh, increased area of effect, something like that, we're gonna see. Or we're just gonna add one additional curse because as I explained before, we have four curses at the moment. If we're gonna take a look at the wiki, uh, here is items that give you one additional curse. Doidress Damning is one item that can deliver that. It's super cheap usually. Uh, if we check this one out real quick, I think like an alchemy or a chaos or something. Do I address damning? And this would unlock another additional curse. It's okay, two chaos at the moment. Um, yeah, and this would have five curses. So on a six link, we can have uh, the the Bane plus five curses. will make an insane amount of damage. Essence Drain probably in the Cane of the Unraveling to really boost the single target damage because it will do more damage than a six linked uh, Bane, of course. Uh, and then as a filler spell on a four link, something like cast while channeling with uh, soul rent to get the leech and the debuffs running to make our bane and essence drain do even more damage. Check. So I think that's enough explained for today. This is the way that I'm going right now. So I re as I said before, I removed the life stuff uh, on the tree, got all the, the energy nodes over here, energy nodes here, here. Uh, I usually want to go, like this is one of the next upgrades, I want to get the, um, what's it called? There's a jewel that transform life nodes into energy shield nodes. And this is probably where, uh, fine in this one here. Ah, oh, God, I, don't, I, I forgot the name, but it's, it's like that. Uh, but this is about 30 chaos at the moment, so qu quite expensive for my current budget. So what's the plan for today? Um, plan for today is going all the way to like tier 10 maps. I'm really gonna focus on mapping today, and I also uh, gonna focus on doing some kind of Nexus stuff. I combined yesterday a lot. It's it's actually it makes more sense, right? Um, the more of these fractured things you do, or at least this memory fragments, the more it will stack up over here. So this one I can enter twice because I ran it twice. And this one I can enter three times because I ran it three times. But this three is the cap. So I would suggest not using anything uh, that has only two uh, stacks here. So I would rather go those with three so you can enter it more often and, and build your way towards. Because the more connected, uh, the more mods you will have in, in total, right? So what I suggest is when you find best cherry, go to menagerie, craft those unique items, maybe you're lucky. Um, then our next thing is if your delve is stacked up, go into the mine, go progress through. There's a lot of um, experience you get, good drops and so on. Finish your lap. Um, I did yesterday, I didn't really find all those trials myself in those couple maps that I ran. Uh, I was just going to slash global 820 and then people offer their uh, the trials, you know. So I it took like 20 minutes yesterday to get all the trials done. I paid I think like one chaos for each trial and yeah. And on the first try on this build I could do Uberlap. I had one offering because I found one trial myself. And yeah, then I made Uberlap. It's like super important just because of the stun immunity, the extra energy shield you get. And energy shield regeneration and so on. So that's pretty pretty sick. Yeah. Okay, so anything else to add? Yeah, I will try to gather more currency. Sadly, I had only two drops that are worth a little bit. So still, this is my only five link, although it sucks because there are three green sockets at the moment. Um, but yeah, I, I don't think that I will... Hmm. I think, yeah, I will just randomly map. Seriously, I will just map, hope for something good. I'm currently having 5.3k energy shield. That's that's completely fine for any kind of low tier maps. I will progress into the Atlas, maybe get some high tier maps, even maybe get all the, the low tier maps going. I think they, they go for like one alchemy or something. So maybe I can group up with somebody that has the same status as I have, that we're just gonna farm maps and gonna share the boss kills. So if if my mate is going ley line map, he just invites me for the boss, you know, I enter the map, he kills the boss and I get it unlocked from my Atlas. This is just super important to get this number up because the higher it is, the more likely it is to find higher maps so you can progress even faster. All right, I'm getting ready for stream now. 
I really want to get this boy up to like probably level maybe level 90 today although it sounds a little bit crazy but to be honest I I slept way too long I think today is going to be a very long stream I feel way more awake than yesterday and yeah maybe see you there twitch tv slash ambix stream so yeah thanks for tuning in thanks for watching and see you tomorrow or today on the stream and peace out